G'day guys and girls, my name is Jamie Gray and welcome to another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. We've jumped on the plane, we've come down here to Canberra to catch up with Shane from Base Contractors. How are you going? Good mate. mate, how are you going? I'm really well, thanks That's mate. That's the way. Look, we're on a pretty nice subdivision site here. What do you want to share with everybody at home about what's been unfolding? Oh, we just started this uh, last Thursday. So this is a new subdivision called Whitlam in Canberra here. Okay. Uh, on Wednesday, this is all just screen filled paddocks and okay. um, now we've just started stripping all the tops all, getting ready to create all the blocks and roads. Perfect mate, so how many machines have you got on site here? Uh, we've got about 15 to 20 machines here. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Perfect mate, perfect. So what do you want to share with everyone a little bit about uh, BASE and also your role within the business? Uh, well, BASE contractors, we do a lot of uh, bulk earthworks in Canberra, yep. um, a lot of subdivision work, a lot of road works, uh, okay. also a lot of smaller um, car park works and commercial okay. buildings. On day to day we range from anything down to small 8 to 14 ton diggers all the way up to D10 dozers. Perfect. That's plenty Perfect. of big range. And what have you got on site um, down here? Uh, down here we've got a couple of Volvo excavators, a 50 tonner, 35 tonner, a couple of uh, dump trucks, yep. uh, a few cat scrapers and dozers and graders. Yeah, perfect mate, perfect. So you've um, been working, I guess, pretty closely with the guys at CJD Equipment and Volvo. So what kind of impact have the Volvo machines had um, on your business? Oh, they've been great. Uh, CJD supplied us with some Volvo diggers here. Um, Last year, we bought okay. four diggers off them, and, and they've been working really well for us. The, uh, the economy with the machines has been great, yep. and um, we haven't had a hiccup with them yet. The guys obviously love, um, I guess, the creature comforts in the cabin. And what well, are they? What, what's their feedback? Yeah, they, they've been really happy with the comfort in the machines, um, the smoothness of the operation with them, and yep. um, you know day-to-day -day usage, so it's been really good. Awesome. So who have you been dealing with at CJD Equipment and what's the relationship been like? Uh, we've been dealing with a local guy, Ross, here in CJD and um, he's been great to deal with. He's um, introduced us to a lot of the their service guys yep. and uh, they're a lot of the guys from interstate as well yep. and um, all around, whether, whether it's for sales or service, they've um, they've been able to keep up with us, so it's yeah. been really, really fantastic, good. Fantastic, mate, fantastic. So guys and girls, we've caught up with Ross from CJD Equipment. How you going, buddy? Good, mate, how are you? That's the way, not too bad, thanks, mate. So Ross, what can you share with everyone a little bit about your role um, and I guess the, the territory that you cover uh, and some of your clients? Mate, I, um, so I'm a regional sales manager for Canberra, uh, okay. Riverina, yep. uh, South West Slopes, okay. and I do probably a little bit of the South Coast as well. Yep. Um, but yeah, predominantly, mostly here, the Riverina yep. is quite active at the moment. Excellent. I previously was on the tools and then came across to in the sales. So what, when you say on the tools, you were an operator as such? No, I was a mechanic. So how did that uh, opportunity unfold and how that's been going? Because that's a pretty cool stepping stone for you. So she called me up and said, look, he's had a position available. And yep. and I said, oh yeah, well, I'll, I'll apply for it. So, excellent, yeah. mate, excellent. So how have you been finding it? Obviously different skill set, but you know the equipment, right? No one's going to know it better than the mechanics. Mate, it was so. a bit, bit daunting at start, but yep. uh, it's been really good oh, since. So yeah. That's awesome, mate. That's awesome. And I guess at the end of the day, it's all about relationships. That's like right. Yeah, the yeah. Relationships with the and, and the, you know, Stu and Michael sort of sat back and had a bit of a look and, you know, I knew everyone to start with. Awesome. So what what, it, what has it been like working with, uh, with Shane and the boys and how have they been tracking along? I guess you guys have been working together for how long now? Yeah, pretty much five years since Perfect. I was on the tools, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Ross, have you ever had any sales calls where you've had to like pop the boot and pull out the tool kit and uh, use any of those mechanic skills? I have actually. That's awesome, <laughs> right? Yep, yep. Not many sales people can do that. No, nah, not really. Excellent. So um, on the on the service side and the spare parts side, I guess, um, you know, CJD equipment is renowned for having, you know, number one, plenty of, plenty of stuff in stock to get things turned over and fixed straight away, but also really good legs and well-trained people on the ground. What's the kind of turnaround and I guess the back-end service side set up like down here in this area? Mate, it's pretty good. We've got uh, two mechanics, resident field service mechanics here. Yep. Um, we also have one based in Wagga as well, so okay. you know, mate, if they get un snowed under here, they've always pulled young Rob out of, from over there okay, and cool. also uh, the boys from Sydney come down and give us a hand too. So. so Shane, I've got to say mate, thanks so much for letting us come on site today mate and um, it's great to hear about how well the business is going. 
and um, I guess for people that want to either get some um, fantastic subdivision work done, uh, what, earthworks, anything like that, give the guys at Base Contractors a call and you'll take care of them, right? Absolutely. And Ross, CJD Equipment, man to the stars, thanks so much for coming down and having a chat with us. And if anyone's in the, uh, in the game for a new machine, what can they do to get in contact with you to organise a test drive or go through some details with you? What's the best way for people to get in contact with you? Uh, just call me on my mobile number, mate. Yep, what's that, bud? 0429 089 295. Beautiful, there we go. So for everyone at home, thanks so much for tuning in for another Earth Moving Equipment magazine case study. Make sure you stay really safe on site. We'll catch you soon.